All right, welcome to Spray Paint Art Secrets, and today we're going to teach you how to do an aurora with a wolf in front of it. It's really simple. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some white down, and that's some metallic blue around it. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually use our paint thinner to create the effect of the aurora. So that's a, a darker blue, it's also a metallic blue, but it, it can be any blue that you've got, a Montana blue or whatever. And then around that, a little bit of black. So where the white went underneath, that's basically where our aurora is gonna go. We're gonna bring that out with our thinner and with a paint foam or a kitchen sponge you can use if you don't have any paint foam. All right, so that's my paint thinner. That is lacquer thinner, but you can use lacquer or acetone thinner. And you just pour a little bit on right at the bottom of where the aurora is going to come up and just kind of trickle it up to the top. And it may not pour exactly, but don't worry, you're going to tilt the paper. You don't want to flood. <laughs> just enough to work with. You know, if, if you've got an eyedropper, that actually might be a really good way of applying it. All right, so once you've got a little bit of it drib dribbling down, just use your foam to create some streamy, streaky things in the sky. Just like that, a clean piece of foam or a kitchen, little piece of kitchen sponge. Just dragging that paint from the bottom up, and since there's white underneath it, you're gonna get white. So spray the edges of it, and a little bit of metallic blue to make the center part the lighter part, and then you can add some white, that's uh, air white from Montana. You can use that or you can use color place white to add a little bit of, of misty stuff on it. It's that combination of the thinner and the misty looking stuff that makes it look really, really tight. And then just fill in with your metallic blue around the edges, just so, it, so that it blends into the sky. Metallic blues makes really nice night skies. All right, let's put some stars on it. Just put some white paint on your spatula. Um, use some thick white paint, some Montana or some Rust-Oleum, and shake it on pretty hard. And there you go. There's an aurora and a sky, and you can see that there's a lot of delicate, nice stuff going on that you didn't have to work too hard to make. So just let that dry, and once it's dry, take a, a cutout of a wolf. Now you have to make this cutout yourself, and you make it with a piece of poster board and an X-Acto knife. Um, you know, get a, a silhouette of a wolf off of Google and print it out, and use some carbon paper to put it onto your poster board, and then just cut it out with your X-Acto knife. Be very careful with the X-Acto knife, and put it on your painting and spray on it with some black because this is a silhouette since it's dark at night there's not a lot of detail now i used color place paint to do my wolf silhouette but i think that next time i would use montana because the color place isn't quite as dark so i'm just going to fill in some land underneath i could do that with my sponge or just by spraying it on directly i could even use my fan brush if i wanted to but basically i'm just finding some way, or I could use a regular paintbrush if I wanted to be conventional, or I could even use my fingers. <laughs> um, and then you can make some palm, uh, not palm trees, uh, you can make pine trees, <laughs> pine trees with your fan brush. And I go into this uh, in more detail uh, for members, but it's, it's not uh, terribly hard to learn how to make pine trees with a fan brush. And you can fill in, you know, on some of that land, but like make it a little bit grassy. And you can make some like some little spiky trees if you want. Some silhouettes of winter stuff, winter trees, bear trees. By you know putting some paint on your spatula and just dragging it along, and making some stars. That's a hole that I made in poster board with a pencil and I just spray through it. There's some stars. And that's it, that's all you need to make the silhouette of a wolf with an aurora. So, 
that's a good thing to try. And here's um here's a more complex version that this is what's on the membership site. Is, um, that's going to have a wolf on it as well. It's got a planet and some clouds and other stuff. Uh, so come learn how to make cool stuff, man, really fast. Learn how to paint fast. You can imagine that you can make some big gallery stuff with this once you learn the basics pretty quickly. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye.